life on the red carpet with me by me. This is the welcoming committee for the Princess Royal who has arrived on site. Ah, this is terribly kind of you. <laughs> Have you been waiting long? If you live near here. It's really great news. Have you been waiting long? Do you live near here? <laughs> this is a house I've designed for Don and Minnie Vanderpoel near Cochin. And it's a courtyard home. That's the guest quarters down there, the children's quarters, the kitchen, the original old family home. And Rosemary and Faisal, who really need a small country to run, but they just run a construction, construction firm, have set up an amazing site with over... 20 or 30 supervisors and they've invited this gentleman here who's the local temple architect who looks after about 300 temples and he's keeping track of the detailing and the beautiful ceremonies that go into the house so it's even though it's a Muslim contractor we have Hindu ceremonies right this is good <laughs> which is and your temples are all over Ernakulam district. Ernakulam? Ernakulam, Kochi. This Ernakulam is, district. That's a big district. Yeah. So you work for the government yeah. and you look at the actual architecture of the temples? Yeah. yeah. When I work for the government, I look at the architectural part. And I work, and I'm also the chief priest of around 300 temples. I, I belong to the family of the chief priest. Ah, so you're so Brahmin. The part also. Brahmin family. Yeah. So you do the, uh, what's it called? Hastakasala Hastabumi. You have that here? The, the like the Vastu. Yeah. You look at the Vastu. Yeah. So in Bali, it's called Hasta Kasala Hasta Bumi. It's the mm. dividing into the eight quarters. Yeah. The Vastu Brahmins Purusha in Mandala. Bali. Vastu Purusha Mandala. That's what you call it from the Mandala. Man so Vastu the, Purusha Mandala. And it's divided into the eight, yeah, yeah. the eight different things, right? Yeah, yeah. So if you're a doctor, you have your gate there, yeah. or if you're a businessman. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Yeah, that survives in Bali, you know. Yeah. Because originally all of Southeast Asia, it was called Father India. It was all Hindu. Yeah. And then it was, it was Buddhist first, then Hindu. Now the only place to survive is Bali, the small island where the people who designed this. So a thousand years ago, the Indians and the Hindus took your culture and your religion to yeah, Indonesia. Yeah. And now Indonesia is bringing it back. <laughs> I don't think they <laughs> Well, there aren't many. There aren't many Indian architects designing houses like yeah, this. Have you noticed? That, that, that's very correct. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a great respect for Hindu architecture. Well, traditional architecture in Bali. But Kerala has some wonderful hotels, which, which are traditional, mostly by the casino group. Yeah, we are having a lot of temples also, which are having a lot of uh, architectural values, uh, uh, which have been done earlier. But nobody's, most people are not allowed to go inside and view all these things. That's really? One problem yeah, we have. Kerala architecture is at best in the temples. Yes, yeah, the temples are amazing. There's something else I want to show you. And there's those old wooden palaces where the royal families have pretty much gone, but they're amazing, aren't they? Yeah. But the timber work in Kerala is on a par with Japan. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What is your name? Akshay Kumar. No, my Ek name is Akshay Kumar. So serious. Hush. <laughs> smile. So say it again slowly. What is your name? My name is Akshay Kumar. Akshay Kumar. Akshay. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Thank you. So, Faisal Shah is going to explain to us now about Kerala traditional architecture. Right. <laughs> Peace have been made without any nails. Mm. They lock in one by one and the last part where you have a balustrade you put a timber pin. Uh. You take them off one by one you can remove them. They are always made without any pins. No nails. nails. No, no nails. nails. So you can use them timber, right timber lights. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful work. And the, and the wood is? Is Jack. Treated, jackfruit. Seasoned Jackfruit. Seasoned Jackfruit. Which is a gorgeous color. It's a lovely honey It'll color. It'll become when dark it's red when it's. But this is really quite the most beautiful millwork setup on site I've ever seen. These Chinese storage vessels called Tampayan were, were bought to uh, South India and Sri Lanka in the, from the 6th century, probably with all sorts of condiments and gingers and soybeans, and they would have been left here and then used in, you know, they were trading for cinnamon and spices and 
they probably would have used different containers to take the spices back and these stayed with the Kerala families where all of the old traditional homes have had one and pride of place as their, their water urn. The lovely main house of the Vanderpol residence under construction. I always ex investigate the, the labour camp on a building site because there's often a lot of great activity and poetic visions. Here's the boss. Hey, what's happening here? Chapati and dal. What great food. Look at that for a perfect lunch for a worker. There's another perfect lunch for a worker over here. <laughs> the workers have the best food at these rural sites. What a great kitchen. Daddy bear's eating over here. What have you got? Kerala rice. Yummy. Lovely. And here we have the winner and the two runners up in the Mr. Teen Spunk competition. And what is your name, sir? You're the winner. What is your name? Sandeep. Sandeep. And you? What is your name? Arun. From Kerala. And we know your name already. Bihar, Bihar. Bihar. He's from Bihar. Yeah. And you? Bihar. Also Bihar. And you? Bihar. All Bihar. Huh? Oh. Ah, sa all of you. Ah, the Biharis. <laughs> Bihar in Uttar Pradesh, no? Is Bihar the very, the busiest state? Wait, 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 we're going to get you. He's from Bihar. He looks more like a Bengali. Bihar, what, what is your name? Your name? What is your name? Sachin. My name is Sachin. Sachin, from Bihar. My handsome driver is a bit concerned. What is your name? Shahul. Shahul. Shahul He's concerned I won't like the tasty food at the Upsada Hotel, but how could the food not be delicious at a place that looked like that? Okay, There's okay. Madhi Suchipta okay. and Chubby Bear, Baby Bear. Coming from S Australia? From Australia, that's oh, right. Okay. Shane Warne is my cousin. My cousin? Mm. Ah, okay. The gorgeous Apsara Hotel. Let's go and check out what's Sydney. happening. It's elegantly a tired customer. How could the food not be good? Wow. We're in Kerala here, on the road from Arta Kochi to the airport hotel, the Abad Hotel. Look, there's a brute gents beauty salon. That man's had a fright buzz cut here. Oh, it's all happening in here. But it's from Fatty Puff. Wow, it's sort of vaguely men's, men's quarters. So just check this out. Hey boss. How can we sit here? It's very serious business. Nowhere to sit. There's a kitchen out the back. There's a very handsome person in the corner here. Hi boss. Look at this interior, isn't it fabulous? Wonderful brother. The boss is counting his upper dumb down here. There's always a huge discussion about what to order. They don't want boiled rice, buddy. No boiled rice. So we'll just have prata. Biryani rice, you want that? What, what? Biryani rice. No, it's like sawdust. How can they not have Kerala rice? They don't have. Prata, prata. We don't have Kerala rice, it's terrible. The menu is just a little bit confusing. The assistant general manager is very keen to keep me out of the kitchen. This cleaning guy is fabulous. He's always a cleaning guy. He's the star act in a Prata shop. He's the sweeper. Really great architectural detail in this place. Well, that's the thing about the water drinking too. Thank you, wrong. Very handsome person's just been joined. 
Cutie's just been joined by somebody. Old man. I could have sat there. And the, the Mundu Mafia. The Mundu is the name of this typical Kerala. Lungi or Sarong. So the perfect prata has arrived. Mad about this colour table. Let's see what else we get. Baby Bear is just checking out the perfect prata. Oh, here comes the head of the Islamic Brotherhood. Chicken, gravy chicken, mutton, mutton gravy, what they call a salad. Yummy! Bon appetit! Here comes the tea walla. Certainly a lot happening today. Alright, sweeper man, super sweeper. How's about the colour scheme? Bright orange is the navy blue of Kerala. He's not sure why he's the sweeper. My other, remember my video from Noble Cafe? Big success. Everyone loves it. You see it? T Man wants to be in the movie. Handsome man. I love that purple. Weapons Great Central Zipper. Lovely Mopla couple. The Mopla are the Orthodox Muslim sect on the coast of Kerala. It's the face of the Arabian Sea. The women have very heavy gold jewelry and they wear all white. This little purple jumpsuit underneath of Granny is rather fabulous. Dad's always on the phone in these shops. And the brothers. What is your name? Kanan? Uh, and your name? Aryan Kanan. Your name? My Keras. My Keras. Bagirash. Bagirash. Very smart. Nail polish. Nice manicure. <laughs> Film stars. Thank you. The Mopla madam is leaving the stadium. So glamorous. It's almost like Aurobiti. Aurobiti. Talk about ancient and modern. These two are so bravely going up the street. But we're doing a little bit of maneuvering here too. Darling, what are you doing? I'm working. <laughs> by a beggar outside the window. I'm working. I'm making a movie, you crazy. <laughs> What's your name? Keratli. Keratli? Keratli. How do you spell that? Ah. <laughs> That's got a system going here with shredding the prata. Oh, there she goes.